we are going to talk about another book. This time it's going to be the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Maybe I should set you up with telling you where I'm coming from. I'm from Germany and our German curricula does not have a lot of American history in it. So at school, we don't learn a lot about it. Basically what we know about Benjamin Franklin is that he did the thing with the kite and figured out that there's electricity and that's kind of it. Before I start, I want to tell you why I purchased the book, because it actually came through another book I'm reading right now, and that is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'm not finished with this book, but at the beginning, Kobe talks about the difference between personality and character. He pointed out that one autobiography that you should absolutely read, if you want to understand how people were focused on building their character in the past, is the one of Benjamin Franklin. To give you a short excourse to what the point of this whole discussion was, is Kobe said that there's basically a shift in self-help and self-development in the past years from building a character to building a personality. The personality-centered self-development is more focused on what do others think about me, quick fixes, how do I organize my time. On the other hand, the one with the character, like where people were focused on building a good character, good virtues, that's just not so common anymore. And Kobe said in his book, if you want to see how character building thoughts and character building self-development looks, go and read the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. So that's what I did. So the first thing that sticks out is that he started his profession really, really early. Like he was 12 when he was an apprentice, when he actually worked and as a printer. And that was really something that stuck out to me. I know that is not unusual for the time, compared to today. When did I start working at a company? At 19, I believe, which is still early. So the other thing that I really liked about Benjamin Franklin was that he learned to be a printer, like this was his starting point. But throughout the whole book, he gives you examples where he worked on himself, learning more languages, becoming a better writer. And he tried to be a better thinker. He worked on how to become better in arguments and in discussions. And that I found really interesting. One thing he pointed out is when he learned the Socratic method. For the ones who don't know, it's basically a technique how to investigate on a certain topic. Like you ask questions to find out what people really think about a topic and to basically to get to the core of a problem to find good solutions. Okay, my favorite part of the book, because it's actually really funny, um, and I'm going to read it to you, is about the Socratic method. When he applied it and when he practiced it a little bit and he figured out it's working really well in arguments. So he basically said, I was termed with it, I adopted it, I dropped my abrupt contradiction and positive argumentation and put on the humble inquirer and doubter. I found this method safest for myself and very embarrassing to those against whom I used it. Therefore, I took a delight in it, practiced it continually and grew very artfully an expert in drawing people even of superior knowledge into concessions, the consequences of which they did not foresee, entangling them in difficulties out of which they could not extricate themselves and obtaining victories that neither myself nor my cause always deserve. Just the awareness that you did not deserve based on your knowledge to win an argument, but because you applied a good method, you did anyway. So I, I love that piece. I love that part in the book. One thing that I found really important to take away from this book is that he emphasized how important it is to read. He is saving a lot of money to get books, to read books, and he educates himself through books. Just remember, this is a time, there's no YouTube, there's no, no nothing really. And if you want to educate yourself, you have to figure things out by yourself or you have to get your hands on a book. There is a saying, if you need a new idea, then go read an old book. And I think that's still true. So, but he also writes. He worked so much on becoming a better writer and he talks about that a lot in his autobiography. So I really like that point. And it actually reminded me of something like a short clip that I saw somewhere on social media from Jordan Peterson. Why write a good essay? Why bother? Well, to get the grade. It's like, no, that's not why. And if you think that, well, that's better than not thinking that there's any reason for writing, but it's a bad reason. Why write? Well, writing is a form of thinking. 
It's actually the most demanding form of thinking. You need to write to learn how to think. Benjamin Franklin had so many different things he achieved. He changed society tremendously. He read a lot and he wrote a lot. The combination of these two things, I think, are the foundation for all the things he did. So the huge variety of things that he looked at is impressive. Like he invented a new stove. He was thinking about how uh, the streets should look like in order that people don't carry so much dirt in their houses. He founded a library. He founded an academy that is now, I believe, the University of Pennsylvania. It's a lot, and I, I'm super impressed by that. Being like a third through the book, um, Benjamin Franklin starts talking about what he thinks a good person should consist of, what values a good person should have. So he really goes deeper into how he builds his character. So he wrote down 13 values, and then he basically creates a journal where he focuses on one of these virtues per week. Like the first week he goes with temperance, next one he goes with silence, the next week he focuses on order and frugality, industry, sincerity, justice, all these kind of things are in there. And I think that is a wonderful and extremely simple way to figure out who you are, to, to build your character and to be to become a better person. One thing that I clearly believe in and that kind of got confirmed in this autobiography is I believe in hard work. I believe if somebody is diligent, working on his stuff, doing the things he needs to do, um, getting up early, staying up late, working on that, not playing too much around or wasting time or I mean, back then he describes that like, oh, they never see me at the bar. And today it would be like, they never see me scrolling for an hour on Instagram, right? It's, it's different things in different times, but it's kind of the same idea. And people will recognize that you work hard, but you have to keep doing it for a long time. It's not a quick fix. Working hard, establishing yourself, growing, learning, that's your, a lifelong journey. And that's nothing that you just do in a, in a blink of an eye. It's something that has to be continuous. The autobiography stops pretty abrupt at something like 17, 1760. So everything that happened after that is not in the autobiography. So therefore I ordered the biography and I'm really curious how that looks, how to get an outside view. That's another thing I have never done. I have never compared autobiography and biography of someone. So that will be a first for me. I'm impressed how much he focused on building a character, how being a good person is at the core of what he tries to do. And that's what we all should do. We should all try to help other people, try to improve the things around us. I hope you like the book as much as I do. If you haven't read it, do it. It's really a recommendation. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Let me know your thoughts and what your takeaways were. So I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.